Welcome dear students to Computer Study Standard 11th English Medium Chapter Number 1 Introduction to Multimedia Part 5 In this video we are going to learn about the last two multimedia elements that is video and animation Now before I start any sort of explanation I would like to convey an important message to all the students. Now there are some of the students who are watching the video and are trying to understand all the things which I am trying to explain you. And there are many of the students who just look at the words which are marked in bold blue color and in displayed in underline and try to find out that this many MCQs could be formed from this chapter. There are some students who straight away watch the next video in which the MCQs are given. My dear, if you just had to mug up the MCQs, then why should I try to explain you the whole chapter in detail? Isn't it? If I am explaining you the whole chapter in detail, there may be some reason behind that. That is why I am explaining. So, from now onwards, try to watch the complete video from the starting till the end. I have created small videos just of 15 minutes and divided the chapter into small portions so that you can understand each and every portion. Now, you don't know other thing that these all chapters are interconnected. Chapter number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And it is like a TV serial that suppose if you miss any episode from between, then you will not be able to understand what is going on in the next episode. So still there is time. Okay, from now onwards, try to watch the whole video and try to understand everything. Hope my message is clear to one and all. Fine, so we begin. Now the last two elements of multimedia are video and animation. Animation can add great power to any multimedia application. Naturally, for example, to explain you the small topic also, I can take just a screenshot of the textbook and explain you the whole paragraph, go on reading from there, but instead of that, I have cut the paragraph into small, small sentences and arrange them on different slides and created animation so that you can focus on each and every point. So, this is the importance of animation. Then, any static presentation becomes lively by adding a video or any animation. The word video and animation both looks the same, but actually in fact both the words are totally different. Video could be recorded using any of the recording device, while animation is needed to be created using any animation software. Now I am reading out the definition as per the textbook, the term video refers to the sequence of natural scenes captured using analog or digital video capturing device. This device can be a web camera, digital camera or even a smartphone. While an animation is a visual change over time, the digital images are placed one after the other to create a moving effect. In chapter number 3, you will be taught how to create an animation. I give you a simple example that if you want to create an animation of a circle moving from one corner to another, then per second you will have to move the circles 24 times. Yes, 24 frames per second should be changed. Then only it will give the break free moving effect. So you try to imagine the cartoon network, the cartoon series which are there in that all the characters are moving. So minimum each character's movement is taking place 24 times per second. It's not that easy to create a animation. We can say that animation is created from drawn pictures and video 
is created using real time visuals. Now carefully planned and well executed video clips or animation can make a great difference in any of the multimedia application or multimedia presentation. Simply if we just put uh, text element or maximum image element then it will not be able to hold the audience attention for a longer time while video will be very much helpful. Some of the examples of animated movies are Kung Fu Panda which was released in 2008, Smurfs 2011 or we can even take the example of the serial or animated series which is going on that is Chota Bheem. Animations can be classified into two things that is 2D animation that is two dimensional animation that is it has got only length and breadth and 3D animation means three dimensional animation which has got length, breadth and also width or thickness or volume. Here you can see the screenshot taken from a cartoon series named Chota Bheem. It is an example of 2D animation. Here the figure looks flat. It doesn't look embossed. It doesn't have volume effect in it. While this is an example of 3D animation, here you can see the or you can feel the volume in each characters, isn't it? Now in uh, 2D animation, the visual change occurs on only two axes that is X axis and Y axis of the screen. What does this thing mean? It means that you can only show the length and breadth of the object. For example, if you want to display a cube, you cannot display a cube in 2D animation software. You can display a square. Another thing, if you want to display shape such as uh, say cylindrical shape or spherical shape, you will be able to display a circle but you will not be able to display spherical shape in 2D animation software. Hope the meaning is clear. This type of animation is simple, childish. Some examples of 2D animation software are Macromedia Flash. This is the one of the best software used for the 2D animation. Another is Synfix Studio which is in our course. And the last one is Pencil. See this is the screenshot of a 2D animation software named Synfix which we are going to study from chapter number 2. Here you can see that a rectangle rectangular shape is drawn in the center and animation is to be created on this shape but that is a two dimensional shape length and breadth it has got only two dimensions while well, this is the screenshot of a 3d animation software here you can see that you can create the shape such as cube also here you get the background foreground everything that is, you can work on all the three axes, X, Y and Z. While in 3D animation, the visual change occurs on all the three axes, that is X, Y and Z. So here you can add depth or thickness or volume to the objects. This type of animation gives realistic view of the image as we can see through our eyes. Some examples of 3D animation software are Maya, Blender and 3D Max. If you are having enough knowledge of 3D animation or if you have done a particular course on 3D animation then you can easily get a job in any of the advertising company in metropolitan city. And that too, you will be paid a very high amount of salary. 
present, most of them are just doing the graduation after standard 12th. But there are so many courses related to animation also, which are very much helpful for your career building in a new direction. According to the textbook, it has been explained how to record a video using VLC media player with the use of web camera inbuilt in your laptop or separately attached to your personal computer. Now this is a funny thing, isn't it? How does it look if you go everywhere with your web camera or with your laptop facing towards the audience and you try to record something, people will laugh at you. For example, a stage performance is going on and if we want to record that stage performance, we will have to face the laptop towards the stage and we will have to record. It will look very funny. In practical life, this technique is just useless. In fact, we do a video recording using our digital camera or our smartphone's camera, isn't it? But since this topic is there in the textbook, so I am forced to explain you how to do this thing. Now I am reading out the things from the textbook. Let us now see how to record a video using VLC media player. It is essential that you have VLC media player installed in your computer. Very good, we didn't knew huh? it should be installed, right? If you if not, then download it from Ubuntu Software Center. It is a free software or free open source multimedia player. Be sure you have web camera connected to the computer. Naturally, we know that. Now, let us start recording a video by following the uh, steps given below. First step, open VLC media player. Second step. Select media and from the media menu select open capturing device. This will take you to the open media dialog box as shown in figure 1.14. Select the video device name and audio device name. From the play drop down menu visible in the open media dialog box of figure 1.14, select the convert option. This will open the convert dialog box as shown in figure 1.15 in the textbook. After destination file label, select the destination and file name. Check display the output checkbox to see what recording, what you are recording. Then click on the start button. Now God knows why this textbook is trying to explain you this thing or harassing me and you both by explaining the awkward method of recording a video. To record a video, even a small child can record a video using the smartphone nowadays, isn't it? Figure 1.16 shows the video recording in progress. Now, click on the stop button to stop the recording. Good thing, huh? textbook author told us that we have to click on the stop button, otherwise we didn't knew this thing. Great. Later on, the recorded video can be attached to the multimedia application. You can also try another open source video recording software called Cheese Webcam Booth, which is available in Ubuntu Software Center. I personally suggest never to visit Ubuntu Software Center. We all are using Windows operating system and download the uh, this thing apps or programs which are suitable for Windows. The commonly used video formats are shown in the table given below. Now here I have taken the screenshot of the table from the textbook and that is why I have not marked any word in bold or underline. Now, the first column contains the file extension, second column file type and last one description. First is .avi. The file type is audio video interleave file. 
It was developed by Microsoft to play videos in Windows environment and the quality of this file format is very sharp. Another one is .wmv means window media format file. The WMV uh, now here it is written windows media video first it was written format file just imagine the textbook authors are great is a compression compressed video format developed by microsoft for internet streaming applications then the most commonly used format that is dot mpg or dot mpeg the File type is Moving Picture Expert Group File. Popular video format used for creating movies distributed on internet. Then comes .mov, Quick Time Format File. It is developed by Apple. Files are compressed and earlier and easier to download from internet. Then comes dot rm or dot ram file type is real video format file description dot ram that is real audio metadata now see here also the file type is different and the full form is different our combination of audio and video in fact all these are combination of audio and video none of them are just video that is mute files right then comes dot swf or dot flv adopt plus shockware file now this is a different type of file animated file containing text and images created by using adobe plus software means this is not a video but this is a animation and last one which is very common is dot mp4 it is MPEG4 video file, commonly used for sharing video files on the internet. Here we complete this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and we meet in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.